Foreverland started off about five or six months ago as a feature film that I was doing. The Foreverlands, it's a, it's a very entertaining story, but it's also, when you break it down, it's got a little depth to it about making choices in life. So I took all the good stuff from the feature film and condensed it into a tighter version of the this, this short film. Being able to bring this to life kind of helps you get to be a part of that choice. Kind of deliver something new through these two characters and their relationship together as the story unfolds. Like Henry Bonneville knows everything about Ace Denison. And the story just grows from that point. This character Ace, he's searching to find himself and uh, trying to overcome these obstacles that he's dealing with. Through Henry Bonneville's interaction with him and the things that he says, he, he starts to believe what this guy's telling him. And, through that, his, he starts to act out those worst fears that he didn't want to. Next thing he knows, he's, he's caught up in this uh, web of, of lies and deceit. And I read the script, read it a second time and a third time, and I think it speaks for itself. One of the best scripts I've ever read, to tell you the truth. It can be very entertaining, enlightening, and even somewhat educational. And the dynamic that, I, that we're gonna bring together with uh, Henry and Ace, uh, it's, it's gonna be a lot of fun. If you're in film, this is something to go for. I mean, it's something to support. It's something to really get behind. A very worthy project of everybody's, uh, everybody's desire to help out. We need people to support the arts. We need people to support local film. So we need people to step up right here in Oklahoma. This entire production is, every, every dollar we raise for this film is going into the production of this film because I want this film to look and feel the best it can be and I have complete trust in my cast and crew to help me with my vision to make it come true.